Hi everybody, this is Patrick McGuire with the North Shores Real Estate Group at Remax Advantage. I'm here bringing you another multifamily. This is 65 Hale Street in Beverly, Mass. Um, so, so far I've been concentrating on three families, but this one is actually a two family because I want to go over something a little bit different. Um, it looks, it's nice, looks updated. Um, if I looked at this, you know, first thing I would think of is that it's a flip. But it's not a flip, bought it in 05, um, they've been updating it throughout. Um, it looks like they did a really nice job, at least from the pictures. Uh, the only point of concern is up here they have total bedrooms as four. And down here we see that unit one has two bedrooms and unit two has three bedrooms, which would be five. Um, so you don't want to look into that, but it's probably just a mistake. Uh, so with the two unit, you don't quite get the rent of the three units. Um, and the price doesn't quite lower enough to make up for that. Uh, but there's a couple of things, you know, they can still be good investments. So let's look at this one. Um, nicely updated. Uh, like we go through down here in the pictures. Um, the two bedroom, uh, you could probably get a little bit over a average. I would say uh, 1300 or so. Um, and then the three bedroom, you're probably looking at 1500 or maybe a little bit more. Because um, it looks like they really did a nice job here. And if you get great tenants in, they'll pay a little extra. Uh, this is a nice property, right across from the cemetery, good location. Now it said in the notes that this deck is going to be removed by the town and then there's going to be a dual staircase here, a two-story staircase. So you want to look into that a little bit as well. But um, that's something you can figure out before you make the offer. So let's go into the numbers a little bit. First thing I want to do is bring up our own, Amer own America case study calculator. So I put it in as just a purchase price, show what you could get for cash flow from that. Uh, down payment 30%, closing costs 8000 mortgage rate uh, 4.5, appreciation rate 2% to keep it conservative. Um, that will give us a annual gross income of $33,600. And I got that by doing 1250 for the um, first unit, the two bedroom. Maybe, like I said, maybe you get a little more than that, but I stayed there. And for the three bedroom, I did 1500 And with a 15-year mortgage, you start off with a little bit of negative cash flow and you kind of have to work your way out of that. Um, so if you're really looking long-term, a 30-year, you get that cash flow right off the top. You know, it might make more sense. Um, this is with the usual 5% vacancy rate, 3% um, annual rent increase, 2% annual expense increase, about a little less than $8,000 in operating expenses. So that gets you a little over $7,000 in cash flow from the first year on. And then as your rents appreciate, write that right into the leasing agreement, how uh, you get more and more from that as the uh, mortgage is paid down. The one thing I wanted to talk about is the possibility of this property as an owner-occupied. So you make the investment and then you live there. And you can actually live in the, the three-bedroom unit two. And we'll bring up these numbers right here. So this is if you're only getting rent from the first bedroom. And I said you rented that out for $1,300. So what that does is even if you only put 10% down, because you put it down lower because you're living there, um, that will cost you, for the year, a little over $16,000. Now look at that. Bam, negative 33% cash on cash return. That's awful. But you're living there, so at least you get your rent you know, reduced. So for living in a third, be uh, three bedroom in Beverly, you're actually only paying in rent um, $1,342, which is a substantial decrease, probably $150 to $200 less than you'd find in the open market if you were renting a place. Plus you're building equity in the property. And something that doesn't happen um, if you're renting is your rent will actually go down over time. Because like I said, you factored in that 3% annual rent increase and so as these rents go up, your mortgage goes down. Since you got a fixed rate, uh, it's flatlined over time, um, you pay yet less and less per year while still living in the unit. And then if you want to move on to your own single family, then you can rent both. Um, you already have equity in the property, and um, you can get cash flow from that. So here's an example of doing something a little bit different with an owner-occupied, and this is 65 Hale Street in Beverly, Massachusetts.